Ah, okay. Let's get this over and done with. I need to... Sorry, that woman just really distracted me trying to destroy my um perfectly introduced introduction. Perfectly introduced introduction? Yeah, let's go with that. So, I need to clear some hard drive space. And if you haven't already noticed, this is Assassin's Creed Origins. Um... I haven't been able to play it properly because of the horrendous DRM. Because of the DRM, I haven't even been able to play this game properly. Thanks, Ubisoft. You're doing a good job here. Uh -oh. I don't want to annoy them. Please don't attack me. Nothing here. Stop you right there. I don't want to attack you. I don't want to attack you. Go away. Just mistimed it. So, TRM is causing this game not to run properly. Um, I don't know if it's coming up on your screen at the moment, but one issue is the graphics. I have to lower the graphics to its lowest setting on a GTX 970. Which, fair enough, is not modern graphics card anymore, it's not top of the range, but it's still powerful enough to run a game in 2018. I was about to say 2017. But I don't know if you're going to notice this, but my wind, my um, sail is a bit glitchy. Now it's not, because it's finally stopped moving. But if I go full speed ahead, it glitches out. There you go. Now, I, now it's transparent. Enough to see a bloody through it. And oh, look at that draw distance. So I'm not really a graphics hog, but when a 2017, 2017 game released in December and on PC. Gotta tell you something about the bloody issue they have. <laughs> that caught fire? No. Why did that person work? That's gotta tell you something about the issue they have with their bloody DRM. De novo you play and VR machine or V machine or V something um, which causes horrendous performance issues. I don't know if my microphone's picking it up, but my computer is screaming right now. So I wanted to actually show this off to you. Um, before I uninstalled it, um, I basically played. I paid thirty pounds for thirty minutes of this game. I managed to get to Alexandria. Um, haven't really gotten in anywhere else. That's gonna take a while. Oh, so that, as you saw there, was my bird up there in the sky. Um, you're literally losing the eagle vision, which is kind of clever. And then... Go to custom waypoint. Go to custom waypoint. Uh, I've been playing Witcher 3, which this... Since Witcher 3 allowed you to... Um, smoothly ride your horse holding A and it tracks the general direction that you're going in which this clearly fucking doesn't do because it wants me to go that way when I want to go this way <sighs> this game has so much problems so my entire goal is to just check out the pyramid because hey it's Egypt after all uh, hopefully we'd run into... I say hopefully. Uh, I'm hoping not to run into bandits, but if we do, I'm just going to 
show you the combat system. Oh my god. That was a big jump. Uh show you the combat system. This is the fastest the horse goes. Show you the combat system and I am very scared, very, not scared, worried. What are we, a lot more people here. I am very worried about Far Cry 5 with De Novo. Because De Novo works for the stockholders. De Novo works for the developers that want your money on game launch day. Really? No one's here? Huh. I don't know what I was expecting, but... Alright. De Novo wants... Uh, to work, and does work, for the first... Get off the bloody horse. For the first couple of days. Am I... Just going to... No, okay. Okay, that was gloriously glitched out. Hey, cool. Tonovo needs to work for the first seven days until... Oh, uh, where are you going? Until the, um... Ready? There you go. Let's just stick to that, shall we? Until people are no longer longer buying the game. All the pre-orders are done, all the initial buyers are done. Anyone who wasn't going to buy the game is waiting for a review, which, depending on what bloody review or read in, they're going to probably play out on the PS4 and Xbox 360, uh, Xbox 360, Xbox One just so they can get a review out and get your custom, uh, get the customer base happy. And that what really annoys me about these triple, triple A games now. I am doing a bad job climbing up this pyramid. Is that they don't care about the customer base anymore. They don't. Um, I think the only two people, the only two companies which care about the customer base, where it realises that in order to keep customers coming back and to draw new customers in, they need to bring out new content which isn't the power of ours and doesn't break on day one. And those two companies are CD Projekt Red for Witcher. And um, Rockstar. Fair enough, Rockstar has horrendous um, microtransactions, but apart from that, I fucked that up. I went quite far. Whoa! Okay. Damn, his pyramid's tall. Uh oh. No! And, uh, yeah, it's sort of... Don't know what I'm saying. Back to this game, though. And... It's a Assassin's Creed game, which means it's a revenge plot. Uh, someone killed a family member, now they're all assassins. Yay. And I haven't even got f that far. Actually, there. Yeah, sorry, I have got that far. Uh, where I'm actually unlocked the modern day storyline and it's a Tomb Raider ripoff which is ironic because um, Lubisoft owns Lu uh, Tomb Raider so yay no hang on which yeah it's just a it's just a ripoff of Tomb Raider and um, you don't even know this guy's story properly, like, 
the first time the how can I get over that? First time they're introduced to this guy is when he's killing someone and you don't even know why he's killing that person until we go find another person who you are told to kill and then it shows a cutscene of why the first person was killed and their reason and it's just a Assassin's Creed family revenge plot spoilers by the way and I'm just like, really? You've done this for all the games now. Including Far Cry. I'm surprised Watch Dogs hasn't got a revenge, but oh, no, wait. Yes, it has. So to come, let's go through the parkour. Um, what I'm doing right now is instead of holding down L, you weren't able to make that down there, dude. Holy mother of god, that's high. Instead of holding down LB or run in what they used to do in previous Assassin's Creed games, there's no sync point up here. No, because there's sync point on that one, eh? of course it has to be. Whatever. So let's show you this. That's Alexandria. You start off in here, which is like level one, level five stuff. And then you move on to this part. This part we've just unlocked here. Move on to this part. And then move over to Alexandria, where there's a people to kill, stories to tell, that sort of stuff. But, that's the thing. I, re I was really hoping there would be a lot more people. Um, I don't know, guards or something, campsites, whatnot. And that's the thing, I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. Assassin's Creed Origins is not worth the two years wait because I haven't heard anything about it and that's an issue really like sure you can say well there hasn't been anything bad about it but there hasn't been anything good about it either like, it's an Assassin's Creed game. What am I gonna do? Okay. No, 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 no. You are not climbing down. There's not a... There's nothing bad, but there's nothing good about it either. Are you able to slide down, please? That was like the main reason I'm here. Can't even slide down properly. Okay. Oh, you have to hold B. So the parkour is literally just moving your left analog stick up. The further it goes up, the faster the character goes. Which is fine, I guess, but you don't feel like you're in control. So if I pull that back to what just above the halfway point he's walking three quarters like halfway between the halfway point and three quarters of the way up and then all the way up there's no sprint button a pressing a doesn't do anything that brings out the crossbow yay so let's let's show off a combat and then I end it there and I uninstall this thing. Okay, let's show off the combat. It's a beautiful game. Uh, that's what definitely it is. It's a beautiful, beautiful game.
but you can't just go on beauties, there has to be personality behind it as well. You can't just base anything on beautifulness. There has to be something behind that. And this game doesn't have it. Shut up. Okay, let's go kill some people. I'm going to probably die a couple times. Um, let's give it three attempts before ending it at the lighthouse. So, I can now call in my eagle, which gives it actual eagle vision. And so, there you go, it's just targeted, say so new, has just targeted the captain. So we can look around, highlight the other people, if there are other people to highlight. Any bad guys. So this is quite a nice change, it's kind of, they've taken the drone from Watch Dogs 2. And clearly implemented it in here, which is okay. So we can sneak down, kill him. And then kill the rest. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, a loading screen to get back to my player, which is over here. That's just perfect. So, I must be careful now. Boom, dead. Hey, wait. Get out of option. Die, I'll get the fire going. <laughs> Hang on. There you are. I'm in that. Die. The sea. I mean, to, fair enough. That was terrible on my part, but it's too. It's too responsive. Yeah, we've had issues in the past where we could just wait until they attacked, counter, kill, and then kill the rest in a streak move. But Help! Stay there. It's kind of There we go. I should be cautious around here. You bugger off. Get down from there. Time to die. See, if there's more enemies than you, you have no chance. You actually have no chance. And. 
I don't like that feeling. Like, fair enough, it's realistic as balls. But it's not an Assassin's Creed game. It's not. Not anymore. Store this now. I don't really like where the Assassin's Creed franchise has gone, and to be quite honest, I am really worried about Far Cry 5. Sure, it's the most realistic game to ever be created in this current climate of ours, but. I really don't like what Lunity is doing with their games now. Lunity, Lupe, Ubisoft, that's the one. So, thank you guys for watching up to this point, I guess. And I shall see you on the next page.